So this is going to be a no weld system or build. So I got the back plate, which will be on a two by six on the wall. We'll find the we'll find the studs on the wall, and then this will go on the two by six, and then this will separate the the wall. Something like this. It'll be better once it's all screwed down. And then this plate will go underneath these brackets. And it will butt up against there to cover the top. And I left a bit of an extra lip on here. So I can put a piece of plexiglass down the front. I'm still debating whether I want to use plexiglass or just a piece of steel and cover it. The plexiglass I have is a little bit uh, scratched up. It's not perfect. Where if I used a piece of steel, then it would, uh, you know, be nice and painted. And I'm not doing anything on the sides because there's going to be gutter, a wire trough or whatever going down there. And I think two wood screws on each of these into the two by six. I'm gonna use something like this, and it's gonna be cut even. And yeah, we'll be a little bit far here for the gutter. We'll see. We'll see how it all looks when I get going on the build. I just want to protect the back side that's closest to the wall. So we'll have about three inch space here. And we'll have another two inch from the actual wall or inch and five eighths. And then I can find the stud and put three screws into the stud for this and then this will just get the these mounts screwed into this and we'll get these holes screwed into this so what I've done is marked the holes of where they're going to go and I marked those holes of where it's going to go in here as well could put a bottom plate on it, but I don't think it's needed. Everything's gonna rise the heat or whatever, so. And it is in a, its own room, so there's a dedicated room for this as well. So it's not a huge, huge deal to me. Could put this down and see how she looks on the ground. I'll let you guys go for a sec. Thanks. I like that a little better. I mark the holes. Nice and easy that way. Pretty square. Got a, no, it's not super square. But whatever. The brackets can still move a little bit as well. And I am going to, when I punch these holes, or drill the holes, I'm going to make them a bit bigger. Like, they'll probably be the size of that outside hole, not the inside. I made them countersunk too, so the heads of the screws are nice and flush with the bracket. Yeah, and then this piece will go on first before the bracket. And that will cover the top. And yeah, that'll be the battery. 
still the bait whether I want to even put a front cover on it or not. I'd like to be able to see in case there's any rodents or stuff that get in there. I don't want a hidden area where they can build and chew. But yeah, this will hang on the wall. It's a very small footprint. So, pretty good. I like these packs. Nice. Thanks, guys. So, got our batteries in. It's super, it's in there good. And the uh, wire goes through there up to the breaker. We'll have a 100 amp breaker. And then back, the inverter is going to go in here. And the charge controller to the breaker. And I'll probably just, yeah, I'll probably just come down here with the wire and go right through the floor. And then whichever where the, the place is going to go. There's a critical loads panel, charge controller, inverter, battery, BMS. We'll go in here. I'll just double side tape into here and then plugs will go there and I'll just go underneath and up with the negative and there you go did you see this William? Ver finally showed up got her mounted I got the positive hooked up these boxes are a little bit cheap I'm expecting the holes for the wire knockouts to be in like a circle, not a half circle. So now you can't hook up one of these freaking lugs. One of these guys, you can't hook that up because <clears throat> you can't tighten it on half the freaking thing. So I just put a, a knock-in clamp there. And then the negative will go from here to the BMS, under here, under there, up the wire tray, just right to the negative terminal on the inverter, and then charge controller negative will also go there and the positive will go to the breaker I've got a breaker for the controller and then that will just go to the positive on the inverter it's just minimizes the runs and yeah I gotta drill a hole in the floor got the solar wire kind of tucked away hidden under here a bit this is just temporary so I just kind of knocked it into there and put these little wire clamps on it just to keep it out of the water and whatever. Like I said, it's just temporary. Just grab my mount from the back field. And just toss it in here. It's all, it's not plugged in yet for the negative. The positive is plugged in, but you can see it'll be perfect here for the uh, sun. This guy almost looks like she's sagging a bit in the middle. But, eh, it'll be alright. Panels are fine. I just screwed them on with washers into the wood. Like I said, it's on there. I do, I did make a little clamp there. And there's a clamp on the back side, so I use a ratchet strap just to hold it in. Might end up extending some legs out this way as well. And it's not going to go backwards. If anything, it's going to come forward. But uh, the ratchet strap will hold it. And we'll try and put a couple legs coming down as well. I was thinking put it on top of here. That would be just as good of a spot. But whatever. This is fine for now. They got a lot of extra wire. I think we're gonna add more panels in the future and probably put it over in the field over here a little bit on a pole. Then it will get much better sun. Like say, even if it's over here, all this stuff's gonna move. And if we put it say here, that'll give a plenty horizon. So south is that way, so it kind of flows right across here. It's just more than enough sun. Probably will need more panels, 
especially if they're gonna run it full time, but this is just lights, a fridge, TV, nothing major. It's all hundreds of watts equipment. So, yeah, and then the AC will go from here up into this knockout, and it's gonna be 120, so I'll jump it from here, we'll go straight from there, and then we'll jump around and come there. And uh, neutral is at the top. And we'll end up taking two circuits out of here, moving them over to here. It's pretty good. We got lots of extra wire and stuff, so shouldn't have to put any extra boxes up to extend anything, hopefully. And I just got to do the negative. I do need one more lug. And yeah, so this one will get lugged on and then underneath the BMS and then I'll just put a nut and a bolt through here on with the other wire and then heat shrink the whole thing and tape it and then already pulling in almost 11 amps we're almost hitting full charge so pretty good the sun just peaked out and Ooh, 540 watts off two 230 panels. Makes no sense. But whatever. It's probably just a cloud edge effect going on right now. I've only got it set to charge to 48 or 49 volts, so doing pretty good. Here's just a quick look. I guess the double sided tape isn't going to stick too well to that. I'm going to have to figure out something better for there. Need just zip ties or something. Here's all buttoned up. This is not me, so yeah. I am going to go through and uh get the inverter i'll uh make sure it's charging properly so i got it hooked up on a 15 amp circuit so can only i'm gonna set that uh, charge at about 10 amps so it's not gonna be a massive charge and we're pulling in 400 watts on the panels it is kind of cloudy again of course but yeah i'm pretty surprised but the panels are really producing decently so mm. Mm. buttoned up pretty nice though we got two circuits that's pretty much the fridge and the tv and they can plug in a lamp if they want to plug in a lamp and yeah but they used about 30% of the capacity overnight, running whenever they're running. So that's good. It means they probably have about three days of run time without sun. And I brought, brought another panel for them. So we are going to put a, another panel in the circuit, which will bring up to about 700 and, and around 700 watts or so which is plenty, it's a 40 amp controller, and the most I seen off it was 11 amps, so there's lots of room for uh, more. And yeah, everything is running good. I'm really happy with these batteries. They're freaking great. <coughs> it's not using any power right now, it's all just coming in. And all the, the BMS and everything is almost the exact voltage. Everything's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I'll just leave it on watts and we can see what's going on or they can just open up the door here and they can see the watts up there, they can see the watts down here, what's coming in, what's going out. And they also, I got the app for them too. So they can also read it off, off their phone when they're close. It's actually a pretty decent little system. I'm pretty happy with how she turned out.
And we are gonna get a bunch of these kind of breakers. These are double 15s, but in a single slot. So you can do one at a time. And then we only got room for four slots. So we will uh, do the doubles, which will give them eight slots. And it's a 100 amp uh, panel. Eventually they wanna get totally off grid. So yeah, we're working on it. A little bit of time I've made it so they can expand. There's no steel box that they're gonna have to, you know, build it bigger. Right now it's just the lid and the brackets and easy to make more backplate. And we could take the shelf out and then we can stack up a couple more on there. May even keep the brackets in and then just go on top with, uh, you know, I'll take these nuts off and get the long nut. Then I'll put a, another piece of threaded rod in there and keep this bracket here and then add another two brackets on top. So then it's got a middle, a middle range for it. So it's not, you know, weak in the middle, but very nice, easy setup, clean, turned out really good happy everything's working well we're not even using any power inside the house it's daytime so just be charging pretty much all day we are a little bit below or we're at 46.6 volts so pulling in 8.4 amps pretty good 405 watts most I've seen off it already is uh, 11 amps so it's pretty good for you know 400 and 470 watts of panels I've seen a uh, 540 watts just coming off two panels like that's pretty amazing and the controller is saying the same thing as the BMS so uh, there's no discrepancies and it looks like my uh, VMP is uh, good, even with two panels. So we could even go four panels, three panels, six panels. You know, we could pretty much go whatever. And only getting 10 amps, so we could probably put eight panels on here without, on that control. I, I probably wouldn't, six would probably be the max, but, and it'd still stay under. But yeah, it's going good. It's charging the way it's supposed to. Everything's doing what it's supposed to do. Pretty happy actually. It's for I'm sure they're happy because they got a really smoking deal. Like in all actuality, this is probably a five thousand dollar system, and they got it to them quite a bit less. So pretty happy. But we also do need some other equipment. I'm going to put some smoke alarms in here. And I'd like to put some lightning protection on this system. Uh, you know, a couple of things here and there that will help out. So pretty much from here over is what I've done. This was already existing. All I did was take two circuits out of there and put them in here. And yeah, anyways, this is the build. So far, I'll give you a quick uh, view of the panel mount. So, we're doing some work back here. It is pretty muddy, so what we're going to do is uh, probably put these panels on top of that little hut there. And if we do three, then I may figure out a different... Uh, solution there because obviously that's quite a bit wider than here so we will have some overhang I don't know we're also thinking about putting them up there and on a tilting rack which would be really cool I think three panels would fit up there really nice but they have to decide if they want to keep expanding or be happy with where they are so you know, it's all just time. They, they'll know if they need more or they're happy. And yeah.
I'm happy. Like this is a really good deal. Like even to find an inverter charger for this price is, you know, it's hard to find one for under a thousand. And this was just right around a thousand shipped. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Anyways, wouldn't mind uh, flipping that breaker on there and seeing what happens. Kind of forget how to operate this thing here too, so. I have to get the manual. I should have brought it. I wasn't thinking. Oh well. Anyways, guys, thanks. I'm just coming to drop off another panel, so. Just let her charge.